<laughs> that uh, set of tunes was called the Cambrat Girls, uh, taken from that. It was a couple of tunes uh, I wrote, a couple of jigs and a polka. And we'd like to continue now with uh, a set of tunes, uh, mostly original as well, um, written in the French-Canadian style. A lot of the music, of course, from Ireland came on the shoulders and hearts of the immigrants, came over, and uh, like my folks, they came uh, back in the 50s. A lot of the music came and um, integrated with other roots music along the way. Uh, of course, Irish music integrated with French music, and, and that formed roots of Quebecois uh, music from Appalachian music, as we know as well, with African rhythms, uh, bluegrass, and the CD celebrates that. The next set of tunes uh, celebrates the French-Canadian and Irish connection. Um, a lot of the Irish, when they landed in Canada, it was a tough journey. Um, there's even a horrific reminder of that journey where there's a mass famine grave in uh, uh, La Grosse Isle, a little uh, island off of Quebec. Uh, 5,000 Irish were buried there, actually, when they tried to make the crossing and they didn't survive during the horrific times of the Great Irish uh, Famine there um, back in the 1840s. So this set of tunes kind of thinks about that a little bit. The first tune is called Coming Home. But it will get very um, upbeat after that. A, a, uh, next tune is Mackerel Sky, a Stratsby uh, that you would have heard up in Cape Breton and Nova Scotia, and a few reels after that.